Well, hey YouTube, it's Petey Two Finger, and the, uh, today I'm going to be recommending a free VST3 plugin by Wampler. Brian Wampler is a he's a pedal guru, dude. He's a, a for real deal kind of guy, and he's made some wonderful circuits, great pedals, and now he's got a free VST you can download over at his website now. He had a pedal that came out not too long ago. It's a multi-modulation pedal. It's like 250 bucks. It's called the Terraform. And it's got modulation all the way across the board. Every flavor of modulation is in this pedal. It's a really cool pedal. And he released a VST that I'm guessing is the same um, script as what's in the pedal, maybe? I don't know. All I know is I downloaded and installed this on two machines, and I really like it. It's got a wonderful auto wah, as well as a Univibe, or Leslie simulator, which sounds really good. And then a Dimension D chorus. Now the Dimension D is a boss pedal. It's a tri-chorus, I believe. Don't quote me on that. It's a modern or a different, a different sounding chorus. It didn't have uh, knobs. It was a boss pedal. It's kind of magenta color. Uh, don't quote me on that. And it had uh, might have been blue. <laughs> it could have been yellow. It had had four chrome switches on it. One and two and. C and D, something like that. And uh, kind of like different rate settings at different depths, I would say. So um, very cool stuff. Let's check it out. I've installed these, I've tested them. I like it a lot, but there's a little bit something because this is VST3 and it's a manual install which i've never run into that and it also requires you install a microsoft c plus plus install it's a little 15 meg side download if it doesn't show up and work on your computer one of my computers it worked right away on the windows 10 computer then i have an older operating system a win 7 um, service pack 1 I know, I know. Don't don't even bring it up. It's a long story on that. Believe me, trust me. Don't bring it up, please. The Win 7 computer didn't work on. So I had to run that Win uh, Microsoft C++ 15 megabyte file. And you can find a link to that on his page. So let's take a look. Let's go over, go over on to wampler.com. Here we see wamplerpedals.com slash plugin hyphen downloads. There's a single VST uh, waiting for more, Brian. Uh, Terraform, you go ahead and down this Windows or uh, for my Mac. And boy, you're so much better with your Mac because it's 26 megabytes. And the Windows one is 4.13 megabyte, but you're so much better, you get a massive walloping 26 megabytes for identically the same fucking thing, because you're so much better with your Mac, my Mac. Anyway, for under the frequently uh, asked questions, blah, 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 here's the link for the Microsoft c++ download that will get it running and there's two things you need to know when you download this it comes in a rar so you can un right click on that and say extract to and that will give you a folder mac os x Ooh, delete that my mac i'm better than you because of my mac and we're going to copy these right click copy and then this is where your VST3 stuff lives. Check this out. C drive. Program files. Not program files. X86. That's the old 32-bit stuff. This is a 64-bit plugin. So we go program files. 
And then inside of program files, joke, yeah, common files. And then we're gonna see a VST3 folder and go ahead and paste our There they go, they're all getting pasted in there. And that's where they need to live. So if you ever have a VST3 that you need to manually install, this is where they go. Local disk C, program files, common files, VST3. Now let's say you're on a 32-bit system. Well, it's really about the same thing, only the 32-bit stuff has this x86. So you would go here under the x86 pro version of the program files and then find the common files and then, oh, there's the VST3 folder. And you would copy them into here. Now I'm running 64-bit. I'm a big boy now. I'm wearing my pull-ups. So I'm gonna put mine in the other folder. And then one thing you can do, uh, if, you, if they still don't show up, you can go into the options, preferences, and VST of your DAW and rescan. I'm not gonna do it, but rescan or clear cache and rescan. Make sure that uh, your DAW is up, up to par, up to snuff in knowing that this has been installed. That's what I had to do at one point because it didn't show up was rescan. So I was like, man, this, this Wampler stuff, I really want to get it to work. Should we look at it? Okay, we'll take a look at it. It was not working and the reason for my failure was I merely had to refresh, rescan. Let's find something. Find something like a keys and classics. Uh, how about strings? Uh, fripped out on Ebo? Oh my god, that was beautiful, wasn't it? So we're going to add this Wampler, we'll go to VST3. Oh, here it is. We'll try the Univibe first. We'll try the envelope filter.
And last but not least, the Dimension Chorus sounds like this. Now we'll cut it. So you can you can hear um, just how much that spiced up that sound and it even beefed up the volume. Um, VST plugins are wonderful and these are three exceptional plugins. This Dimension Chorus is, sounds fantastic. Uh, I was super excited to get these working. And it, it required a little bit of Google and I had to look up. I, I didn't know where the VST3 folder was. So maybe this was helpful. Um, and if it was, how about subscribing and clicking the bell and commenting? I like that kind of support. Uh, enjoy the plugin. And hey, maybe maybe uh, grab, grab the piggy bank start throwing a, a 10 and a 20 in there and before you know it you pick up yourself a wampler terraform pedal support the developers right all right you guys i finished installing uh quite a bit of software on this computer today uh, looks like there's light at the end of the tunnel i'm gonna be uh, recording soon and I'm really excited about that. I'm super happy to, to have this computer thing finished and working. Um, there was a problem with one of the computers. I had made the same video three weeks ago. Three weeks ago I made a video saying I was done installing, uh, synthesizing it up. And what happened was over time I was adding some more stuff and that, that computer became unstable. And I quickly realized that uh, I needed to do some needed to do some fast. So we have a completely different computer here uh, that I had attempted to install Windows 10 on it, and it, it installed it. it. Just took a little longer, you know, and then the issue started with it. I couldn't even get the video driver installed, so. That was a learning experience. Always Google the model number of the motherboard and make sure that it's compatible with whatever operating system you're loading onto it. In this case, I mean, it's really weird because in the in the drivers, they have a driver for Windows 10 for this for the audio on this motherboard, but then down in the video under the video where they're talking about that's so using three monitors with it it said it's really only recommended that you use windows 7 and 8. hmm really because when i installed fucking windows 10 it immediately started crashing and saying error and you know so the moral of the story is um this was more than a month of me playing around with these computers and at this point I have one. Everything that I had hoped is installed on it, and more, which is uh, a lot of stuff. It's a it's a lot of software, and uh, that's no small accomplishment to get all this stuff working. So I'm here patting myself on the back. I'm gonna watch the new Werner Herzog documentary tonight, Fireball in the Sky, and I'm gonna take a break. Eventually, 
get going cleaning up this area setting up my recording stuff um, I don't like to call it a studio it's just a pile of gear it's a pile of junk is what it is get all that stuff set up and so look forward to hearing some new music on this channel uh, coming up in a couple of months all right peace